Woo, let's go ahead and get into a man top 10 cases for the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Now, I know I was supposed to hit y'all with this video about two weeks ago, but life be life and sometimes you know how it is. But today, we're going to talk about the best top 10 cases for the 15 Pro Max because I have tried out a bunch of cases. Some I haven't even made videos on yet, but I've tried them out and I ran them and these are what I feel are the top 10 cases for the 15 Pro Max. And let me give you two quick disclaimers before we get going because I hear this every single time I do my top 10 video. Number one, T, this case is flawed. This case should be number one. This should be, look, this is my YouTube channel. This is my top 10. Everyone is not going to agree with my picks. YouTube is a free platform. You can buy all these cases, pull your iPhone right here, put up a little camera and do your own top 10 video. But these are my top 10 choices. Number two, no sponsors has anything to do with my list. I know some people say, oh, he's a sponsor. That's why his case... That shit has nothing to do with anything, all right? We don't, sponsors don't touch my top 10 case video. So let's go ahead and quit all the yapping. I know some of you already say, you're talking too damn much. Let's go ahead and get it popping, man. Starting off with the number 10 case. Let me go down here and get it real fast and let me whip it up right quick. The number 10 case, man, is a case that I always feel like people sleep on. A lot of people don't know about it. I always call it one of the most underrated cases out there, and that's going to be the Smartish Gripzilla. I absolutely love this case. A lot of people don't know Smartish, man. They're a tiny little American-made company that put out very affordable, but yet very good quality cases when it comes to it, man. So let's go ahead and slap it on. This case right here, the things why I really love this case. First of all, it has an extremely tight fit that goes all the way around. You have very nice clicky buttons, just nice and easy. But the one thing that I do like about it is when it says the Gripzilla, this thing is giving you grip. You do not have to worry about your case sliding out or being slippery. Because, you know, a lot of these cases on this list, I'm going to be real with you, have a little bit of slippery issues, but not when it comes to the Gripzilla. This thing has these built-in finger grooves that fit just perfectly to your hand, to that case can just contour right in your hand and really make give you that grip to use the case. Also, you're going to get this nice texture. You don't got to worry about any fingerprints. I know a lot of you care about your fingerprints. Some of you need cases for your cases, I always say, but you don't got to worry about fingerprints when it comes to this case because they have a nice textured type material. Same thing going along the side of it. And it's just a nice solid case. Very affordable on Amazon. You can get it via Amazon Prime. I'm not sure what the price point of the Gripzilla is right now, but it's always one of the cheaper options. But when it comes to the quality of case that you get, it is really hard to beat. Nice Nice fit, nice buttons, and let's go ahead and test that MagSafe out. Always has a very strong MagSafe, as you can see right here. So those things is hard to come by when you're talking about a very affordable case. And I feel like this, the, the, the smartest, all right, words T, the smartest Gripzilla is always going to be one of the best cases out there in the market. Very underrated. Uh, yeah, there could be a few little things they could improve, but it's hard to not put the Gripzilla in my top 10. Honestly, it probably could have went a little bit higher, but it's bringing in the rear, Pause. It's starting off my list at number 10, man. Smartest Gripzilla. Smartest team. Keep killing it out here when it comes to your cases. Now, number nine is going to be one that may surprise you guys a lot. This case was actually really high on the list before, and now it has fallen off a little bit. And it's not because the case is bad. It's just because there are so many great cases out there in the market, man. And it's going to be the Binks Armor Pro. Now, I know T I know some of you are like, I'm clicking off the damn video right now. How in the world will he put a past number one case in the number nine position? Look, I'm not knocking the Binks Armor Pro, man. It's still a very solid case, but I feel like I like to go off improvements. I feel like a lot of my top cases improved from the previous year. The Binks Armor Pro just kind of stayed level set. And that's not a bad thing because it actually is a very good case. When you're talking about a super tight fit that goes all around, that's what it has. Very nice aluminum buttons, which are very tactile. Really can't complain with the buttons at all. Action button. I'm not a big fan of the little orange accent right there, but that doesn't dock any points off for the actual case itself. When it comes to the power button, the, the, the buttons are just clicky. Max save strength, I feel like, took a little bit of a loss. This thing used to be able to pick this base up a lot, but this time seems to be struggling just a little bit. The Binx Armor Pro still does have a slippery profile, in my opinion, but it's manageable. It's not one that's slippery to the point where you're like, I cannot use that case. It is entirely too damn slippery. 
No, nah, not really. I still find myself can use it pretty good. It keeps a very thin profile. I love the metallic along the camera ring this year. Just change it up the look. Give the case a better quality. And overall, it's an amazing case. But I feel like I would have liked to see some improvements coming from the 14 version going to the 15. I feel like there really wasn't much there when we are talking about improvements. I would have loved to see a little bit of grip going along the side. I would have loved to see a little bit of a stronger MagSafe. Something like that. Outside of that, I really can't complain, man. Number nine, Binks Armor Pro. It's a great case. Don't let me knock this, man. This was a future number one case, if I'm not mistaken. And yeah, it did bump all the way down to number nine because I would have loved to see some improvements to make me bump this case up even further. But let me tell you, man, still a great case. It's always a good time when you can make my top 10 case because I try hundreds of cases. The Binks Armor Pro is still one of the best out there on the market. Jumping into number eight, it will be a newbie on the list, but the company who makes it isn't a newbie. But when they made it, everybody kept saying, T, did you get that case? T, have you had a chance to try that case? And I said, I'm gonna get it in, man. But we're talking about the Spigen Enzo, but this is going to be the Aramid version. Now, you guys know I am team Aramid Fiber, all the things. I've actually ran this case for a very long time and I really enjoyed this case. And I knew this was gonna be one that was gonna be in my top 10 cases. When it comes to Spigen, you already know what it is when it comes to the Enzo line. You're gonna get that very nice aluminum camera ring. You're gonna get your little Spigen insert right there and you're gonna get your diamond cut buttons. And on the inside, you're gonna get that MagSafe with a very nice, Felt lining on the inside, popping the phone in here. The Speaking Enzo Air Mirror really checks all the boxes. A lot of you love this case as well. And, I, and man, this is a good one. All right, this is a good one. Number eight, once again, it is kind of a little bit low, but this is telling you the competition of cases that's on this list. Very nice tactile buttons, no issues there. When you're talking about MagSafe, it had a very, very confident magnet. As you see, Spigen has been keeping up with those magnets and making those a little bit stronger. Nice fit goes all the way around it, keeps things very thin. And I think the aesthetics of the Spigen Aramid cases it's just sweet. I love the Enzo Aramid aesthetics, all right? If I could say one thing, I would say, it, just speaking Enzo, give us the nice packaging like you do the leather version, all right? Just give us a nice package like you do the leather version, but you ain't got to. Keep that price point very affordable. Don't add that Enzo price point up there, but I really like the Enzo. I think this color goes very well with the natural titanium. I love the speaking accents, the button, the strong MagSafe grip. Could be a little bit slippery, but once again, it's kind of like the Binks Armor Pro where I feel like it's not a deal breaker. You can use this case as a daily. If you say, T, I have to use this case every day, I won't have any problem with it. So, speaking Enzo, Aramid Fiber version, we're still going to do a video of the best Aramid Fibers, and we'll see where this ranks because there is some good Aramid Fiber cases out there on the market. And besides, we got to see if this is real Aramid Fiber, man, but you do get a nice little pattern. But speaking Enzo, Aramid, sitting at number eight. Really, really love this little case. Number seven was a case that I was extremely hyped for. I mean, when it came out, when we saw the pictures of it, we were just like, yo, I have to have that. I cannot wait until I get this case in my hand so I can try it out. And then once I got it, the hype was there. But then the more I started using it, the more I started using other cases, I felt like it kept falling lower and lower in my ranks. And that's gonna be the Bataka Mag Easy Pro case. Now, I haven't used this case in a very long time and I really, really love this case. This is gonna be their blue version that they came out with a little bit later down the road. I think the black version I may have gave away to somebody, but this year they decided to change up the pattern just a little bit, not the pattern, but the design on the pro case just a little bit when making this very rigid case that goes all the way around, giving you a nice little, little metallic lining on the inside of the camera ring, definitely bringing us different colors. They provided this blue color with us. I think they may be coming out with the burgundy color, I'm not 100% sure on the inside, you're gonna get that nice salt felt lining. So popping it in, I mean, very, very beautiful case in my opinion. I feel like when it comes to aesthetics and looks, the Pataka Pro case is a very, very nice looking case. But the things I love about it, I love about it, it is a very, very tight fit. That's what you are to expect when it comes to the Pataka Pro case. I love the buttons and I love how they color match the buttons to the actual case. Nice and tactile there. It keeps everything very squared off. Sometimes with the squared off design of the iPhone, I like to keep that squared off feeling in my hand. And I love the way they kept that squared feeling, kept it very thin, but some things that I dislike about it. Now the mag safe strength, we all know Pataka kind of nuked their mag safe strength a little bit. So it's, it is much weaker than what we are used to when it comes to the Pataka Pro case, but it still works with your MagSafe. Would like to see this thing get beefed up a little bit, but one thing that I really dislike about the Aramid Fiber case is if you drop this case, if you even mark this case, you will get a nasty white looking material on the outside 
of is chip what it's made of. Now, I'm not sure how the Kevlar and the Aramid fiber works, what type of coating, what type of lining that it uses, but I do know this case will get damaged and looks ugly very quickly if you are a little bit rough with your case. So for the price point that this case has, which is over, I think, what, 60, 70 bucks for that? It's kind of a no-no, man, because you like you, when you have those expensive cases, you like to see them last just a little bit. And when it comes to the Pataka Pro, it has all the features that I love. It's slippery as hell, all right? It is slippery as hell, but I almost can deal with it because of the aesthetics. But coming in at number seven is not a bad point. It's not a bad place for it. I feel like that's fair for what we have coming up in the competition, man. But the Pataka Pro case, if I can say anything to them, man, is try to figure out a way to make it a little bit more durable. You're killing the game when it comes with this, especially bringing the different colors in the aspect. Make that mag safe just a little bit stronger. You're going to find yourself with this pro case creeping right back up to the top ranks. But coming in number seven, Pataka Mag Easy Case Pro 4. All of that. <laughs> now, coming in at number six is a case that I was very excited, man, because they, this case always found its way around midway of my top 10 cases because they only had one critical flaw all the way up until the iPhone 15 model where they corrected it. Shout out to D-Brand, man. We got to give it to the D-Brand grip coming in at number six. Now, if you guys know anything about me, I love the grip case. It is one of my favorite cases. It's one of the most consistent cases out there in the market, not only for the iPhone, but for the other models that they make it for, for the Pixel, Samsung, whatever, whatever phone they make it for, you know what you're getting when it comes to the grip case. And the thing I love about it is, for one, it always has an extremely tight fit. They don't miss on the fit one bit bars they don't miss on the fit one bit when it comes to this d brand grip somebody give me a damn record deal tonight all right right now when i'm recording this video at 8 36 p.m on this thursday but it just always nails it when it comes to the fit the fit is always extremely tight all the way around d brand grip of course you're getting that grip moniker because they have supreme grip that goes all the way around and i feel like they do a really good job of not making it too abrasive to where it's a little bit aggravating and you're just good when it comes to the grip of this case. Buttons are always amazing. No, they're not aluminum, they're not metallic, they're not interchangeable, but the D-Brand grip buttons I feel always have been spot on. I absolutely love it. I love the way they do the tapering of the edges so you can make these swipe gestures a little bit easier. D-Brand does such a good job with little details and aesthetics like that. And overall, man, it's just a smooth looking case and you already know when it comes to customization, you can do it with all of their skins. Now. That one flaw that I always kept telling you about was the MagSafe. The brand grip, all of my case heads out there, we all know the grip always had one of the worst strength MagSafe on the market. But when they told me they improved those magnets on that D brand grip, oh, I was, I was a fan. And I was sold because this is the last thing that I can say that I was frustrated with when it came to the D brand grip. But you do not have to worry about that anymore. D brand grip, man, it is throwing punches. Coming in at number six. Good fit, good buttons. The action button is tactile. Feels very good with that grip. Not too bulky. And you can customize it with those skins. And the strong MagSafe. This bad boy here, right? It's a real contender. All right, I was going to say this bad boy here, right here, is going to be a contender, man. Coming in at number six, D brand grip. Love it, man. All right, had to get that drink of water, man, because we are about to get into the top five cases. Now, this one right here, I'm not even going to, well, I'm going to pick it up. And let me soup it down here and let me put it over here so you don't see it. But this case right here, and as soon as I get to talking about it, you guys will know exactly where I'm going with. This Apple left y'all hanging, hanging just stranded when it comes to your leather cases out here. But I always tell you, man, I talk about tons of leather cases. Well, I haven't talked about many, but I have a lot of new leather cases that we will be getting into. I've used them, but I still think this case comes out on top when we are talking about leather and I gotta give it to the Andar grip. Now I know some of you gonna be like, oh T, because that's how good it could have collaborated with your technical T colorway. Look, this is just the color that I stay on my phone. And I wanna show the patina that's starting to happen with it. But when it comes to the Andar Aspen, I do feel like it is gonna be the best bang for your buck leather case on the market because there isn't anything that really is off when it comes to this case. So let's go ahead and slap it on. Of course, this is gonna be my collaboration color with Andar in that technically red colorway. And when you slap it on, man, this is gonna be the best option for leather cases that you have, period. Let me see the Aspens in the comment section down below because I know a lot of you rock that as well. But what I love about it, first of all, we're getting that nice full grain leather. All right, we're getting that nice real leather. No vegan leather mess that's out there in the market. We're giving, we need patina. Leather cases are supposed to patina. 
Vegan leather, I don't know what it does. It just gets dirty, all right? But the, you got to have that real leather. And as you can see, my Technically Red is developing a deeper color because it is starting to get that very rich patina. Everything else that I love about the case, very nice metallic buttons. They're absolutely perfect. And then when they really finally updated with the case, when they really finally updated with the case, it's late and it's been a week. But when they finally updated the case with the action button, man, it is spot on the action button is super tactile no issues there at all when it comes to the fit of the andar aspen it fits all the way around perfect when it comes to the mag safe strength for a leather case it is very strong which a lot of leather cases cannot pick or even begin to hold this base and they can begin to hold it not super strong but definitely one of the stronger magnets when it comes to leather cases feels very thin in your hand and it comes with tons of different color options that you could choose from to match a color black brown camo tan stone gray moss green technically red um i think they're coming back out with the merlot color they have a sand color they're coming out with another man it's a bunch of colors that you can choose from man and I feel like Andar just knows how to do it when it comes to a leather case. And I feel like they really feel that void from Apple since we don't have a leather case out there in the market. So if you're a leather person, if you're a leatherologist, y'all stand the hell up. All of my leather lovers looking for a leather case, man, go ahead and check out the Andar Aspen. Just overall nice buttons, very nice leather, keeps things thin, fit is good, magnet is good. Everything is good. When it comes to the Andor Aspen, man, bringing in the top five pack. Okay, spooky season is approaching, man. Let's go ahead and get into the number four case. Now, this case right here, I kind of had to restructure my top 10 because I started using it a little bit more when the case first came out. I had a defective unit. I ordered another one defective or the third one defective, but now it's all cleaned up. And I feel like this case has been consistently good and they have been slowly making the improvements that we talk about and can complain about as a case reviewer every year. The Mouse Limitless case, man. The Mouse Limitless, I feel like this year is so good. This case really could have been up higher than it was because they're improving on little things that we keep talking about when it comes to this mouse case, man. So let me go ahead and go through it. This case really checks all the boxes, okay? We're talking about a very tight fit, which the mouse always has, all right? Very tight fit. Very nice buttons. Ever since they improved the buttons, these have been very nice. Plastic, but they are very tactile. Work good. Power button. You, we always kept saying the limitless line was slippery. It was a, it was a wet bar of soap. Not anymore. They added the grips to the side. That doesn't solve all of the grip issues, but it does solve them a good little bit. So you do have grip on the bottom. These cutouts used to be just equal and now they have it actually cut to the actual speaker ports so that's good to see there on the back of it, you're going to get that air mid fiber pattern the one thing i don't like about it is they have the duplicate banding duplicate branding in my opinion you only need one all right either just put this uh, down here or just leave it like this like the ogs have always done a little double branded thing in my opinion is a little bit weird and when it comes to mouse and the magsafe i feel like they've always been a little bit lacking when it comes to the magsafe strength but don't worry about it when you're talking about using it on all of your magsafe accessories those things work just fine without any issues the mouse limit this man is it's improving and it's really catching my eye every single year and this next year all they have to do is make those magnets a little bit stronger I don't even care about interchangeable buttons. Get rid of one of these Brandons. And uh, yeah, this thing could really be contention for a number one case if they just make a little bit of tweaks because the Mouse Limitless line is always going to be one of the top cases and they keep making the improvements that we complain about year after year. So the Mouse Limitless 5.0, this go around for the 15 Pro Max, sitting at number four. Number three has been a case that I probably use the most. And this is a case that a lot of you probably think I had at number one. But bringing in number three, man, we got to go ahead and talk about it. The Kadabe Synthesis. Now, I am a Synthesis fan. This case is actually on my phone as we speak. I just took it off of the video. But I've always been originally a Synthesis fan. I know we talk about the sheath a lot on this, 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 this channel, a bunch. But I have always been a Synthesis fan because I love the way this thing is made. We're talking about very rigid case. The sheath is going to be a little bit more flimsy, but it's going to be, this is going to be very rigid. And they come in a few different colors, of course, the blue, the black, the gray. You know, it's going to come in all your colors that you need it to. But this case really checks 
about all of the boxes and we'll kind of go ahead and get into it. First things first is going to be a very thin profile. I love the senses, keeps things very thin, keep things very slim. Next up is going to be the grip. All right. You don't have to worry about any grip when it comes to the synthesis because it has these dedicated grips that goes all the way around the corner. Feels really good when you're holding it in my hands. I personally don't find it aggravating. I know some people do extremely tight fit. Some people say, T, when I'm taking this case off, I feel like I'm bending my damn phone. It fits so tight, but I'm okay with that. All right. Cause everybody's not swapping their cases on and off. Like a lot of us case addicts out there. Once you put a case on, it's going to be on and you're good to go. Very tight fit. And when you're talking about the MagSafe, man, this thing has a very good MagSafe when you're talking about the strength. So the MagSafe strength is there. Got to make sure I put that hand down there to catch it. Strong magnet, and you get a nice texture. Just a very nice textured finish on the back. You don't have to worry about fingerprints. The only thing that I can kind of ding it is the buttons. I know a lot of people complain about how the buttons on the synthesis is stiff. I will say when it comes to Kadabe, when it comes to the sheath and synthesis, they do break in over time. Yes, when you first get it, they are a little stiff, but as it breaks in, the button will break in and it will become better over time. So that's the only thing that I can kind of say could be an issue or could be a pain point if you go out there and buy it. But if you rock with it, you roll with the synthesis, you can realize that this case is really going to check all the boxes, man. Grip, thin, super tight fit, strong magnet. You can get the colors that you want and it's just a very clean, minimal looking case. I know a lot of you probably thought this is gonna be the number one case, man, but I had to go ahead and give it number three. And when you got a top three, you know you want the heavy hitters, man. So number three, Kadabe Synthesis. Love this case. And right now, it's kinda in my daily rotation of cases. Now sitting at number two, I'm pretty sure a lot of you already out there know what cases I haven't talked about, but the number two case, which one is it gonna be? Phone Rebel Gen 5, man. So Phone Rebel is a case brand that I absolutely love. They're one of the most awaited cases every single year when it comes to the iPhone 15 Pro Max. I absolutely love getting it in. You guys love it when I talk about this case and we love to see the improvements that they make year after year. So the first things first is, first of all, the fit of these bad boys always just smacks in your damn face when you pop this phone in, man. It's always a super duper tight fit. I'm probably gonna run out of characters even talking about all the features that this thing has. You get that Kevlar back, that can get a little smudgy, but you wipe it off, you're good to go. This year, one thing they changed will put those grip patterns on the side. I know some people can say this is a little bit aggravating. I feel like it's a hit when it comes to this. So it works good, tight fit, nice grip. You do get your claws on all four corners. That's gonna protect it for when you drop it. You guys have seen drop tests when it comes to Phone Rebel. They're absolutely insane and they're gonna bring the protection. But not only that, one thing they decided to do this year was not only with the interchangeable buttons, which I have the blue titanium buttons. This is how I have mine set up. Blue titanium, volume up and down, blue titanium, and I have the blue titanium on the back. How many times do I gotta say titanium when I'm talking about the titanium accessories for the Phone Rebel Gen 5. But anyway, this year they decided to make a few more pieces that's interchangeable. They're letting you change the camera lens and they're letting you change this little Rebel plate. Now, I love the idea, but I know if a person in comment down below, somebody told me, T, I think it might be a little bit over-engineered. And I can kind of see what they're saying because I felt like you didn't really have to allow us to get these inner... I get what you're doing, but I feel like this right here really wasn't needed. It's a nice little touch, but... It really wasn't that needed. And the camera rings, I mean, it, it's a cool feature, but I feel like that nobody was really asking for it. And with those little screws, they're kind of easy to round out and you can kind of lose one and you kind of got to be real careful with these. I'm not sure how good they are swapping in and out, swapping in around. But all of that aside, this is still one of, if not the best cases out there on the market, man. Super tight fit. The protection is there. The customization is there. I feel like the case looks good, does bulk it up just a little bit, but I feel like the proven protection that Phone Rebel gives you, super tight fit, super clicky buttons, the protection on the front screen, you got the air mid fiber back, and this also goes for the, and let me dig it up real quick because I know I got it probably fairly accessible. Yep frosted version as well i absolutely love it so you can kind of put these in the hand in hand in hand with the frosted and the rebel phone rebel gen 5 i just love it man it's you can customize it with the colors that they came out with the components kits and they even have more things if i had to say just fix one thing you got to make this port bigger some type c cables do not fit in this port and that could be a pain point for people who aren't there aren't incorporating magsafe some people still plugging up have a lot of type C bases that cannot get in here. So Phone Rebel, make sure you make this just a little bit more wide. But the Phone Rebel Gen 5, I absolutely love it, man. I was really battling going back and forth between this and the number one case. 
But I, sometimes I feel like the Foam Rebel can be doing a little too much where they really don't need to. But still one of the GOATs, always going to be top top 10 as long as they keep bringing the heat. So Foam Rebel Gen 5 sitting at number two. You already know the last case I haven't talked about taking the crown this year on the first top 10 case video. Got to bring it back to one of the OG champs, man, and that's going to be the Kadabe Sheath. I was actually kind of not using this case for a very long time. I was stuck on the synthesis. I was stuck on the synthesis, stuck on the phone rebel. And then I was like, you know what, man, let me slap this sheath on, the OG sheath, and start giving this thing some run because I'm disrespecting one of the OG champs out there in the world. And the improvements that they made this year, I really love this case. First thing they make is a nice soft lining on the inside. It is a little bit more rigid, not as rigid as a synthesis, but it is rigid enough. And then when you slap this thing in, the fit of the sheath this year is absolutely crazy. Like the, the, the nothing barely moves when it comes to the side. You get very nice texture. You get the matching gray where it comes to the natural titanium. This is a case that you just kind of set it and forget it. Like, you don't have to worry about this thing getting smudgy. When you drop it, it doesn't get damaged. The MagSafe, I know a lot of people say, well, T, the MagSafe isn't as strong. I feel like the sheath magnet is a little bit on the weaker side, but it can still handle all of your MagSafe needs just fine, in my opinion. I don't know, man. There's something about the sheath this year that just really gives you a set it and forget it. Just like I said about the Kadabe Synthesis version, I know a lot of people complain about buttons not being as clickable, but the more you use these cases, the more they break in over time and you're good to go. They will become clickable. And the design is just clean and just aesthetic. This is a clean look in my opinion. And I kind of had to go back. This is cases where you just put it on your phone and you can forget that it's up there because it just always does what you need to do. You drop it, it doesn't show any damage. You have very good texture. I know some people think this is slippery or some people think it's grippy. However you see this texture, that's what it has on it. I feel, I feel like it doesn't give you any fingerprints, doesn't mark up. This is what I mean by a case that you can just put it on and forget about it because it, it literally checks all the boxes that you need when it comes to a great case. And if you're looking for, you want to go ahead and grab the number one cases out here, man. Make sure you head over to Kadabe and use the code, which is special because this is the number one case. You can use the code T20 over on Kadabe to get 20% off your Kadabe sheath only. May be available for the synthesis. I'll let you know in the comment section that we can pull that off. But until the end of the year, you get 20% off of the Kadabe sheath because she is the new champ. I don't know if she is she or he, but I had to bring it back to the OG, man. This case just... It just simply gets it done. Hashtag Sheath Gang down below. Let me know down below in the comments how you feel about this list. How do you feel about the number one case? Is there a case that was robbed? Is there a case that deserves to be dropped back down? Once again, let me know in the comment section down below. But the champ this year is going to be the Kadabe Sheath. Once again, use that code T20, man, to get that 20% off. No sponsor. Just want to give you guys a little bit of a deal when it comes to the number one case. But... That's going to be my top 10. You guys let me know down below. Like I said, what are your top cases? What case you're using? And you never know, man, as we get more cases in here, we may do a round two because things can shift. Things can move as more cases tend to roll out. But taking T, I'm up out of here, man. If you want to just get some old entertainment and you want to check out my best cases for the 14 Pro Max, I will be sure to pop that video right here.